Welcome back. This is Curtis with Sky Realty, and today I'm going to talk about uh, my favorite plugin for social media icons. Um, my favorite plugin is going to be the Share Buttons by Lockhart's Add to Any. Simply go to uh, Search Plugins and type in Add to Any, and you're going to find Share Buttons by Lockhart's Add to Any. Once you've activated the plugin, you'll have some options. And once you've activated it, you'll go under settings and you'll click add to any. And this is what will show up. And what I want to demonstrate here is it's a relatively simple plugin. It's fun to use, but I want to show you a couple quick little bells and whistles. Um, this right here is the default button. So which is which is what sits right here. So I'm going to refresh our page because I've turned that off to show you what the default button looks like. Well, it looks like maybe we've cached it. So let's see if I can. There we go. So this is the default share and save button, and there's three different sizes. Uh, what we did was we had our designer create an image. It's just an image. We uploaded that image over here into our media. Um, you simply, you can upload the image. Once you upload your image that you want to use anywhere in your website, um, you grab the link for that image. I'm going to paste that here and I'm going to save changes and choose the, to use that custom URL. So when you get this straight out of the package, it's going to have this button here, this kind of little bar, and then you hover over it, and there's everything. Now that I refresh this window, you'll see our custom graphic show up. And I just thought that was really neat that we could um, really integrate this and the look and, and its look and feel with the rest of our website. So now we have a nice share and save icon. Um, and from here, people can uh, Google Plus it, Facebook it, tweet it, etc. And one other thing I want to show here is that you can also choose where this bar is going to show up. Now, our option was to display at the top of posts only, but you can have it show up at the top of experts or excerpts. Um, on top of post display at the top of posts on the front page so display at the top of posts and archives so in archive pages you could show this we just chose top of posts you might consider um, uh, doing top or bottom we like the top because we wanted people to see it right away you can also have it display on your regular pages as well um, there's a little simple menu styler here, so you can give the menu custom colors. If your colors are orange and blue or something, you can uh, style the menu. It's got a nice little styler. And I just use the default settings here and the show title of the post default setting there. You hit save and you're in business. And um, like I said, getting a little image like this done, created by a designer, nice, simple, gives you a nice, clean look for your blog that. Uh, allows this function to integrate nicely with the rest of your the image of your website. I uh, hope that was helpful. Please feel free to uh, leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Have a great day.